हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी मैकेनिकल सरफेस स्टेटमेंट प्रोसेस फॉर दैट व्हाट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैकेनिकल सरफेस स्टेटमेंट व्हाई द सरफेस स्टेटमेंट इज यूज्ड इन मेनी एप्लीकेशंस व्हाट इज द यूज व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी सो बिफोर लुकिंग दैट फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज इन बाय सरफेस स्टेटमेंट it is the process applied to the surface of a material to make it better in some way like making surface more corrosion resistance a metal surface statement is a, any process that affects or alters or adds to the surface of a metal part this statement seek to perform a variety of functions though corrosion resistance is the most commonly used each type serves a different purpose different types of surface statement are used so why we are using this surface statement process most materials will require an exterior finish to improve the look of the material and it protect from the environment surface finishes can be applied by numerous methods like brushing spraying dipping to enhance hardness and durability and to rebuild surface control friction reducing adhesion improves lubrication it also improves corrosion resistance also improves aesthetics like beauty of product the hardness and durability can be improved like mechanical properties tensile strength and corrosion compressive strength can be improved it can rebuild the surface also it controls the friction reduces adhesion improves lubrication like chemical properties improves corrosion resistance improves aesthetics like surface finish or beauty of the product can be improved so there are some factors need to be considered while selecting different surface treatment process like contaminant to be removed due to previous processing or factory environment the contaminant can be produced on the surface that can be reduced like oil grease solid particles metal chips abrasive grids shop dirt dust this can be removed by buffing or polishing where we require high degree of finish or cleanliness the amount of contaminant remaining after the cleaning operations then wiping method wiped with a clean white cloth to observe amount of soil on the cloth this is a non quantitative but easy to use then what is the purpose of cleaning what is the environment and safety factors are required what is the size and geometry of part and production and cost requirement now one by one we are going to see different surface treatment processes and its function in details we are going to see in sub whatever the surface treatment process in subsequent videos so first we are looking at the introduction to the processes first is surface hardening surface hardening is a process of hardening the surface of a metal object while allowing the metal defer underneath to remain soft thus forming a thin layer of harder metal at the surface we are forming the thin layer of harder material on the surface of the work piece that is a surface hardening then case hardening it is the technique used to improve the durability and often the appearance of metal surface in which the metal surface is reinforced by the adding a thin layer at the top surface of another metal alloy that thin layer of the alloy is generally much harder and durable than the original base alloy that is the case hardening next vapor deposition it is a in a chemical vapor deposition is a vacuum deposition method used to produce high quality high performance solid materials the process is often used in a semiconductor industry to produce thin films here metal is heated in a vacuum and the metal gas 
becomes a gas sublimination and forms a metal film on the atom to be plated this is the vapor deposition process next one is a thermal spraying this thermal spraying technique used in coating processes in which metal materials are sprayed onto the surface the feedstock is heated by electrical or chemical means this process provides material resistance to wear corrosion to wear erosion cavitation corrosion and heat force so it will provide the resistance to all the wear resistance corrosion resistance erosion resistance and heat resistant process then next one is a electroplating electroplating is the process of applying metal coating on another piece of metal or another conductive surface through a electro deposition process in which we require the surface which is electrolyte in electroplating the deposited metal becomes part of the existing product with the plating or coating electroplating is used in a jewelry making to coat base metal with previous metal to make them more attractive and valuable and sometimes more durable chromium plating is done on a vehicle wheel rims gas burners and bath fixtures to conform corrosion resistance enhancing the life of expectancy of the product here electroplating is used to improve the life of the product to increasing corrosion resistance and wear resistance next one electrolysis plating it is a power of chemistry used to move metal ions and forms a metal film on the atom to be plated it is a, also known as chemical plating or ato catalytic plating is a class of industrial processes that creates metal coatings on various materials by atomic ato catalytic chemical reduction of metal reactions in a liquid bath there is a difference between electroplating and electrolysis plating as we have seen the electroplating and electrolysis plating we are looking at there is a difference what is that difference in electroplating you just electricity in the process of transferring a deposit to the substrate why electrolysis plating utilizes an aqueous solution and non electricity to transfer the deposit here we required the plating solution but in electroplating we required electricity to deposit the substrate on the workpiece next one is anodizing anodizing is an electrochemical process that converts the metal surface into the decorative durable corrosion resistance anodic oxide finish aluminum is ideally suited to anodizing although other non ferrous metals such as magnesium or titanium also can be anodized an anodized finish is chemically stable will not decompose and is non toxic it is not hazardous and produces no harmful or dangerous by products so in this anodizing process whatever in this process finish chemical stable and it is not producing any harmful or dangerous by products then painting the industrial painting process begins with an analysis of the surface for irregularities or problematic surface features based on these appropriate measures to prepare the surface will be recommended to ensure the best final product is achieved industrial paints are pigmented liquids or powders that are used to protect or beautify sub substrates industrial paints are used in aerospace architecture construction automotive and electronics industry this painting gives the aesthetic views also that beautify the product 
there also we can use also for corrosion resistance wear resistance for that purpose we are using this painting operation industrial painting that can be man manual operation or we can atomize this operation by using the robot in manual operation there is a possibility that we there is a lacuna will be created or the coating will not be proper but in robotic painting we are getting the equal amount of material or equal amount of paint will be deposited on the surface of the work piece so that will increase the aesthetic view like beauty uh, beautify the final product then electro forming it is a metal forming process in which parts are fabricated through electro deposition in a model known as industry as a mandrel here you can see we are flower which is deposited on electrolyte solution exclusive formula then metallized powder flower when we deposited on this the copper the reaction will be taking place and will get electro form flower which having a good surface finish electro forming is a way to make that turning natural or other materials into metal metal jewelry components you can see the metal jewelry components by building up layers of metal around your forms preserving them forever we can preserve this electro form flower then last one is a diffusion bonding it is a solid state welding technique used in metal working capable of joining similar and dissimilar metals it operates on the principle of solid state diffusion wherein the atoms of two solid metallic surfaces interface themselves over time here the we applied the pressure from the both end and it creates one bonding which is a solid state diffusion so we have seen surface treatment processes different surface treatment processes so it treatment provides corrosion protection to the substrate enhance product appearance example color or texture increase wear resistance reduce friction increase electrical conductivity or resistance prepare a metallic surface for subsequent processing rebuild surface that is worn or eroded during service that for that purpose we are using this surface treatment process one by one we are going to see what is the meaning of all the surface treatment process how it works how we are using this surface treatment process that case hardening electro forming electro electro plating electro lace plating how it function what is the principle behind that that we are going to see so hope you like this video if you like it please stay connected and don't forget to subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notifications stay tuned for more videos thank you thank you very much